Welcome back to another week of In Your Kids and Youth Online. Let's start with a game. Hello everyone and welcome to the Animal Quiz. And I'm going to ask you a series of questions and there will be multiple choice so you can choose out of three options. First question, what is this animal called? A. The Great Cat B. The Simple Cat or C. The Mere Cat Get your answers in, you've got a few seconds left now the answer will be revealed. It is C. The Mere Cat Well done now, have you got it? What's this one then? What is the Eastern Black Rhino particularly good at? A has excellent eyesight, B has excellent sense of smell, or C baking. Ah, I hope it's baking. I hope the answer is baking. It could be. It could be something else. What's it going to be? B, excellent sense of smell. Okay. The Western African Sitatunga is the only what kind of antelope? A. Amphibious antelope. Sounds a bit odd. B. African antelope. Or C. Four legged antelope. Okay, that is a hard one. Mm, answers coming up soon. A. The amphibious antelope. <laughs> Who'd have guessed it? What are these animals called? A. The fire hyaxes. B. The sea hyaxes. Or C. The rock hyaxes. <sighs> Sounds like a type of Pokemon. <laughs> and it is C. The rock hyaxes. Oh, forgot to mention, by the way, guys, all these animals can be found in Chester Zoo. Yes, residents of our very own Chester Zoo. The Grevy Zebra is... A. The type of zebra with the most amount of stripes. B. The largest type of zebra. Or C. The smelliest type of zebra. There's another one for you. Tricky one. No cheating now. What is it? B. The largest type of zebra. Oh, well, that's the end of the quiz, guys, and thanks for joining. For the next few weeks, we thought it would be really great to have a look through this book called Notes from Jesus. And there's some amazing stuff in here, and we thought it'd be really great. This is just a load of stuff that is written from the perspective of Jesus that just helps us to learn a little bit more about what Jesus wants us to know about him and how to have a relationship with him. So this week, the first thing that we were going to look at is that Jesus says, I want you to know I love being with you. And this comes from the passage in the Bible in a book called Luke. And it's from chapter 18, verse 16, where Jesus says, let the children come to me. Don't stop them. He loves being with you. And what it says in here is, you know how some mornings you wake up happy because you'll be with a special person that day. Maybe a snuggle close grandma is coming for a visit or you get to hang out with your best ever buddy. Or maybe you and your mum are taking a bike ride together. Well, that's how I feel when I'm with you. This is Jesus talking. I'm always happy to see you. Always glad when we're together. I like being with you. Did you know that? I like being with you. It's true and I hope you feel the same way about me. Let's have a great time together today, tomorrow, every day. And what one of the suggestions it says in here that just is a suggestion that could come from Jesus is that it says we, you don't have to go anywhere special. You can invite Jesus to join you at school or when you're with your friends, whatever it is that you're up to. Jesus wants to be part of your every day all the time. He wants to just do life together. So Jesus is with us wherever we are, whatever we're doing. Amazing. Now, we're going to play a quick game. You've got to beat Rosie and guess what I'm doing, what the thing that I'm doing that Jesus will be with me doing. So here we go. Number one. <laughs> Love this. Well, you're obviously swimming. Obviously swimming. Easy. Second one. Are you, are you sewing? I love sewing. Why would you say it like that? I love sewing. <laughs> Number three. 
that was obviously football. You're definitely goal. playing football. Uh, next one. Oh, bit of bit of pool. Bit of pool, yeah. Uh, next, <laughs> this is what I really love doing. Are you? What are you doing? Shopping? No, uh, that was loading the dishwasher. <laughs> loading the one of dishwasher. my favourite jobs. Uh, <laughs> next, one of my favourites. That's shopping, surely. No, putting the bins out. Love oh, that. putting the bins uh, out. And last one, let's do <laughs> uh, my favourite thing. Is that not, is that shopping? No, I'm not shopping. You're pushing a, mowing the lawn. Mowing the You're lawn. Mowing the lawn. work. Great. Okay, so those are some of the things that Dave apparently loves doing. So we thought now we'd give you the opportunity to have a little think about some of the things that you love doing um, and that we can invite Jesus into. So what's amazing that we're learning today is that whilst, yes, it's great to set aside time to spend really properly with Jesus, to pray and talk to him, actually what is really incredible when we have a relationship with Jesus is that he loves to just be with us in our everyday, in the everyday, ordinary, fun things that we're doing in our day. So we're going to have a little think now. What are some of those things that you love doing? Maybe you love building things with Lego. Maybe you love reading. Maybe you love being arty and drawing. Maybe you love being outside at the park or being with your friends or riding your skateboard or whatever it might be. Whatever the things are in your day that you love. It could just be the ordinary, just sitting watching TV, having a cuddle. It could be um, just going to sleep. Maybe you just love that. And in all of those things that you do, Jesus just loves to be with you. And so what it can be really helpful is just to remember that he's there and to invite him to come and join me, to come and join me while I'm doing this activity, Jesus, come and be with me and let's do this together. So what we're going to do now is in a, in a moment, go and grab a piece of paper or if you journal, this might be a great time to go and grab that and you can jot some things down in there. And at the top, just want to write in it, thank you, Jesus, that you love being with me when I... Dot, dot, dot. And then in the space below, you can use it to write down some of the things that you love doing in your day or just some of the things that you just that you do in your day. Um, so draw them, write them down, um, spend a few minutes now just having a think and a chat about those. Yeah, so draw them, write them down. What are some of the things that you love doing in your day? Uh, and then we'll invite Jesus into those in a bit.
Great. So as always, we'd love you to go and worship now. But then after that, uh, we'd love you to maybe choose one of the things that you've drawn or you've written down there uh, and invite Jesus into it. So maybe now or maybe a bit later, choose one of those things, say, Jesus, come and do this thing with me uh, and then go off and have some fun. But other than that, we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.